Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Today we're gonna to be working on the 29 gallon BioCube planted tank here up in the living room. Now, if you're new to the channel, this tank used to be in the basement alongside with my desk, but I have moved some stuff around to make some room for additional 3D printers. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and see all that stuff before it ever makes it here to YouTube. But uh, anyway, um, as you can hear, there's some issues with my light. So over the last week, I've noticed that this thing turns red and then it starts uh, uh, blinking and then shuts off the light turns off a little while and then it kicks back on uh, I went through there and tried to clean it out with some uh, canned air, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's working out So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna remove this light uh, Take it apart and kind of see what's going on Maybe the fan does need to be cleaned a little bit a little bit more than just spraying canned air and uh, see what happens But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just overheating uh, to be honest with you I didn't really look into it or uh, do anything outside of that just because you know the fan is making a ton of noise and it seems to cool down they kick back on but uh, before we get into that so this is the uh, 29 gallon um, it's just a basic planted tank there's literally nothing going on except for uh, there's a bunch of shrimp in here ghost shrimp that I've had for a couple years uh, there's Axel and um, there's some neon tetras tetras I said tetras uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that but tetras in here and um, that's it I don't really do any water changes I just added the um, ATO here which is the uh, what nano micro nano ATO and uh you know it's just a very basic setup so that's the ato container i just use tap water and um yeah i don't really do anything with this setup and there's a little shrimpy um but uh yeah so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to have it up here and uh just adds something to the room just better than just being kind of blah and of course it's out of the basement which gives me more room i already mentioned that so anyway let's go ahead and start by removing this light and hopefully yeah there's some screws so should be able to take that apart with no issue let's get started All right, so the light is disconnected and we're down here at the packing bench. Now, before we get started, I have to put a little disclaimer out there because, uh, you know, it's the internet. A lot of you guys are really, really, really fucking dumb. Uh, do not do this while your light is plugged in. Okay, I feel like I don't have to say it, but one of you idiots are going to do it. So, uh, as for tools, I did find an Allen key um, that did fit this. It's not an Allen key. I don't know what the hell that bit is, and I don't care. The Allen key works. I uh, brought some uh, canned air. Uh, a toothbrush because I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen. So first thing we're gonna do is just uh, disconnect the light from this um, arm. Quick twist, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that it's just dirty. I don't have to replace any parts, but well, I guess we'll find out. So little Allen key in here. That was quick. Jeez. That's what she said. Um, all right. last one so let's see what we got here never took one of these apart before so we're about to find out uh, well it's not giving all right so that's the PCB board I feel like I'm gonna break this sit, sit in half I probably will probably will but uh, what are you gonna do yeah it feels like it's catching right here Find out what the hell that's about. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can't just come off, right? Can't just come off. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna end up breaking this like a thing. Hmm. They should put in the direction manual how to release that. Because I'm not seeing anything. So how about this? For the sake of time, let me figure that out, because we have access to the fan here. Let me figure out how to motherfucker. Really? That just comes off? Like this just comes off? Really? It just it just comes off. <sighs> Fuck you guys, man. Seriously, this just comes off? So I didn't even have to do this? You kidding me right now? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Maybe if I did some research. Huh. I'm always telling you guys to do research before you start anything, and I'm over here fucking just winging it. So yeah, that comes off, for all y'all didn't know. Um, as for the fan... Okay, so it's... I don't know if you can hear that. Hear that? 
it feels like the bearings are going bad. It's really like, it's wobbly as shit, but I mean, it could just be the quality. So I'm gonna give this a good cleaning because that way I don't have to break any of this. Plug it in and then uh, see if it still does it. I mean, the fan might just be dying uh, because it really isn't that dirty. I mean, it's really not that bad. You, know, you can't see shit in there. Uh, I'm still bummed. I mean, there's even a little hole right there. See, there's even a little hole saying, you know, stick something in there. Uh, Scott can Scott would know what to do with a hole that size, right, Scott? Uh, <laughs> he's not here, so I'm busting his ass. And you just pop this thing out, apparently, and you can clean it. So that's great. So we're just going to go ahead and clean this. That sounds awesome. It's probably not good for the fan, though, but... What are you gonna do? Anyway, um, let me go ahead and uh, yeah, I'm trying to think, what else can I do? I mean, other than short of taking the fan out. There's, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Ha ha! We had a broken fin, um, and just realized that after blowing on it, it was already broken. So maybe that has to do with it not being stable and why it's rattling. So what I'm gonna do, and you can see here, there's some holes or some screws for that same Allen that probably allows you to remove this fan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean it and then um, see if it still makes that noise because now it's even you know off balance even more now that the fin's not in there. And uh, I might just have to replace the fan, but uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and put the cover on there, put this back together and see what it sounds like. So while I'm putting these screws back in there, one thing that I did notice actually this morning when it was spinning that the fixture itself was rattling. So that makes complete sense with the fin being broken and even just blowing on it with the air. You can see, I mean, well, I can feel it rattling um, just because it's not balanced. So there's a really good possibility. I just have to replace the fan in this. And, um, well, luckily it's a planted tank kind of near the window. So and it's not going to die necessarily. And I can always throw some cheap lights from uh, Home Depot on there that I use for my refugium. You guys have seen those in previous videos. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to reach out to these jokers and see what I can do to fix this. And, uh, yeah, because I definitely don't need to buy a new light fixture. Just gotta replace the fan so oh and by the way guys this is fun really really a little hole there Motherfucker. attention to detail team works the key apparently not all right let me put it back on the tank we'll see what's up all right so i just plugged everything in and so far it's uh it's not loud or not nearly as loud and it's not vibrating so i think maybe that broken fan blade was the issue um maybe it was causing the fan not to spin correctly obviously the vibration is an indication of maybe that but uh, so far, it's good. It's been on for about 20 minutes. No blinking lights. It doesn't seem to be uh, getting hot. And, of course, you can feel the air being uh, pulled in. So that's a good thing. We'll see what happens. I'm still going to reach out to them and see if I can get another um, fan replacement just for the sake of it. Probably get a couple of them because one of the HD primes over the imported system is also making some noise. So uh, see, so probably have to uh, see about fixing that as well. But anyway, I will... Uh, add some video of the shrimp and stuff in this tank just because you guys haven't really seen it um, again it's almost no maintenance I don't even do water changes on it and I come in here and pull out these snails that just keep uh, having babies all damn day long but uh, yeah that's about it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, if I don't see you later this week with another video I will at least uh, see you guys during the live stream on Thursday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for you guys who are wondering we are switching from Friday to Thursday it's just easier on my schedule and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later all right peace